All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to, on your Samsung Galaxy phone, especially One UI 6.1, I had this issue where when I used my phone, especially on the home screen and going into apps and things like that, on my Galaxy Z Fold 5, I had an issue where it was kind of laggy and this will fix that lag, but it will also allow you to clear out the data on your One UI launcher and kind of start from anew, but then restore it back. I'm gonna show you how to do all of that so that your phone feels fast and fluid again. So let's get in to it. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna back up our One UI home data. So we're gonna swipe down from the top, hit the gear in the top right, and next we're gonna go into where it says accounts and backup. Tap on that. From here, we're gonna go into backup data. So you see Samsung Cloud, backup data, choose that one. And we're just gonna back up all of this stuff. You could just choose your home screen, but we'll just back up everything and just in case you haven't. So at the very bottom, hit backup now. Now this might take a few seconds, it might take a few minutes. So let it do its thing. And then once it's done updating and backing up all the stuff, we'll jump on into the next part. Once it's done, you should see all data has been backed up. Hit down at the bottom, go back, go back again, and we're back into the main screen of settings. You wanna go down until you see apps. So we're just looking for apps at this time. If you don't, let's go down a little bit. Now here we see, you tap apps. And the app we're looking for is One UI Home. So you could type it um, at the top if you wanted to search for it, but ultimately what we're just gonna do is gonna swipe through all these apps. It's in alphabetical order, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. There it is, tap on One UI Home. And then from here, we're gonna go down and make sure you did back it up because if you didn't back it up, you're gonna lose your whole home screen setup. But if it's backed up, you'll be fine and dandy. What you're gonna do from here is you're gonna go looking for storage, tap on storage. And at the bottom, tap clear data. It's gonna, and then hit delete. It's gonna erase your whole home screen setup and set it back to factory default settings. If you want that, you're good to go. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to restore or anything. But once that's done deleting it, it'll just, go back to data zero and cache. You can even swipe up to go home just to show you. You can see it looks like the default home screen. But ultimately what we want to do is go back into settings. And then we want to go back again into where it says accounts and backup. Go back into Samsung Cloud and choose restore data this time. Now instead of the restoring all of them, we're gonna look for the phone that we are using. This is the S24 Ultra, so I'm gonna choose that one. But if you're using a different phone, look for your phone. I'm gonna uncheck all because I only wanna to have to restore my One UI home screen. So you'll see home screen, tap on that. It'll automatically uh, select apps as well. So that's fine. So you'll, that's the only two you have checked. Hit restore at the bottom and hit install. It's gonna install any apps that are missing from that backup when it restores. And it's again, it could take, it's probably gonna take a minute or so, but we'll just let it do its thing. It's gonna restore my home screen back to the way that I had it previously. And you'll also notice that everything should be running a lot smoother and faster. Once that's done, you'll see that a data has been restored on both events there. Hit done. And you can see free up space in Samsung Cloud. I'm gonna hit later on that. And then hit the back button, swipe up to go home. And now, like I said, when you're in all throughout your phone, have it be your home screens or scrolling through stuff, it should be a lot smoother and a lot faster than it previously was. Uh, it definitely cleared up the hiccups that I had with my Galaxy Z Fold 5. So do that. It's a good way to kind of clear the cobwebs from the latest update. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.